Hello my dear friends welcome back to my channel and this series Tech Fuel so happy at the very outset i would like to say a big thank you a big thank you to all for uh, giving me the encouragement to continue this series now as i said uh, i promised you that what i learned in almost about one and a half year it is possible for you to learn in one month and you will be able to present yourself in a professional manner in a pro manner the software that i am using for these online meetings is a software that is free of cost that is freely available to each and every one of us and the software's name is obs open broadcaster software now this software is so good is so good uh, the the best thing about this is that uh, i would say that it is absolutely free right you don't need to give a single penny right this is absolutely free and we all love things that are free isn't it and so here it comes i don't know why they aren't charging anything but this is absolutely free and with this software you can live stream your sessions at the same time you can also record the sessions as and when you are taking the sessions so this software is a must that we need to have and along with this if we know this software well no matter which online platform we are in whether it be google meet whether it be zoom or whether it be webex or whether it be microsoft teams no matter which online platform we are in it is possible for us to integrate zoom into all these online platforms that is one good thing about it all the other online platforms have almost almost the same procedures uh, about 1% or 2% there might be a difference the rest almost every online platform has the same procedure now before we go into understanding uh, what obs is how to use obs i believe there are certain requirements that we all need to have for such a presentation to be done now when i say that uh, don't think that it is going to be too expensive but there are some basic things right without which it is not possible for us to do this sort of a presentation and the first basic thing that i believe we need is a green screen we require a green screen for us to change the background as i have changed it right now i am not sitting in a studio this is my home right and we need to have a green screen so that this can be done now these green screens are not at all expensive right we do think that this might be very expensive this is not at all expensive right i will show you the uh, the 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 price of the green screen and of all the things that i am using as of now so that you will have an idea that if we spend a little a little that is what i am saying a little it is possible for us to do things in a better professional manner so the first thing that we need to have is a green screen i will be putting the link in the description below you can check into that you can click on that and you can choose from which green screen you want to buy from also the second most important thing once we have a green screen is a light we need to have even lighting okay even uh, it might be tube it might be uh, a focus light whatever it might be we need to have a light wherein it will be evenly spread on the green screen only then it would come out in a better in a better way and the third and the most important thing is a camera now every laptop does have a webcam attached to it right but there is a problem with the uh, webcam that is attached to the uh, uh, laptops it uh, it it doesn't have that great a resolution now what i am doing is that i am using one of my old phones uh, i was not able to make calls i was not able to listen when somebody called me and so that phone it it was of no use but i am using the camera of that phone to do my online meetings and it is because of that reason see the phone camera has higher resolution it has more pixels and so it is it it gives in a better picture more clarity rather than the webcam that we have on our laptop so uh, i'll i'll tell you i'll help you out how you need to connect your mobile with your laptop how is it possible i i'll help you out with that 
but even if you don't have a, a, a mobile phone an old mobile phone it is okay it is okay that you can do with your webcam all these things but green screen and lighting is very much important if you have a DSLR at home that is way good right if you can afford a good camera that is really uh, something really great it will only enhance the way you appear on the screen so these three things these three things my dear friends this is inevitable you need to have these three things at your at your at your disposal only then it is possible for us to do these things so a green screen uh, lighting and camera now there are two more things that would add in to the way that you are presenting and one is a, a interface a sound interface right or a mixer now i have been using a mixer and uh, uh, it is also possible for you to have a sound interface now the mic that is there in the laptop it is not of that great quality because it is not made for that function okay so you needs an external source wherein the sound can be brought in to the laptop or the desktop and for that you have uh, you can you can use a, a mixer or an audio interface uh, many are available i'll be sharing what i am using right and one more thing and that is mic now with regard to mic we have usb mics right and we have condenser mics we have dynamic mics different kind of mics the mic that i am using right now is a dynamic mic now there is a reason why i chose this dynamic mic now i have two children and both of them uh, they make lot of noise right you know how when everyone is at home how the atmosphere is now almost every day i had meeting and it was difficult i would always ask my children to be silent and i understood that in a way i am not giving them the liberty and the freedom that children need to have they can go out they can play they can shout which we used to have so what is what what is the way out what is the way out and that is wherein i found out that this dynamic mic is much more helpful in that even if my parents watch television downstairs even if my children uh, shout at the top of their voice right this dynamic mic it only captures voice that comes from here that is one one good thing and so the people who are hearing us they will never hear the disturbances that are going on around here that is the one reason why i use this dynamic mic condenser mics are beautiful sounds much more better but the only problem is that it might take the surrounding sound also so you look if you have a quiet place if you have a room uh, separately given to you wherein no outside sound comes in i would say you go for a condenser mic i will also share which is the mixer which is the mic that i am using and you have the freedom with the money that you have i would always say uh, going for a higher and an expensive one of a much greater quality would always enhance the sound quality there is no doubt about it so this is what it is about the things that we need to have now when i said the things that we need to have uh, three things that are over here right three things over here these three things these three things it is inevitable you need to have this but these two things these two things you can avoid you can use the inbuilt microphone of the laptop that is there uh, but these three things these three things uh, you need to make sure that you have so that so that this can be presented in a beautiful manner okay now i as i said a, a very quick look into the things that i have bought i have used just just so that you have an idea as to how much you need to spend on this you might be wondering that uh, uh, to have a setup like this we'll have to shell out lot but uh, to share what i have spent and with that you will have an understanding that if we can try to uh, save a little i am sure that all those who are involved in this ministry this is not at all a waste let us just look at the things that i had bought what are the price of it so that you will also have a better understanding as to how much you need to spend so as i said green screen is the most important thing that you need to have uh, at your disposal 
and this is the green screen that I had ordered about uh, one and a half year back when I started using the OBS and when I started using green screen. Uh, this is the green screen. It costs about 400 rupees. One is enough, but if you want two, you can buy two, but one is more than enough. With regard to light, the light I bought it from uh, uh, from an electric shop it cost me around uh, 800 or 900. I'm using a 30 watt uh, light which we keep outside our homes. That is the light that I am using as of now, which I bought from outside, but that is also available on the Amazon. With regard to the sound that I said, there are plenty of options available on Amazon. You just need to type audio interface. But if you are not well versed with what audio interface is all about, I would surely ask you to just go through the review, read the review, because there you will come to understand a lot many things. Now, this is a Behringer. You, now, you need to have a USB mixer, right? If you need to connect it with, uh, with your laptop or your desktop, you need to have a USB mixer. The reason why I preferred mixer is that because uh, sometimes I use the guitar and sometimes when there is a VBS or something going on, somebody uh, would help me out in the keyboard. My wife and myself would be singing. So uh, you, uh, audio interface, uh, the, the, the lower priced ones, it has only one output or one output for your mic. But when you take into the mixer, you get two output for your mic as well as for your instrument. So that is one reason why I prefer uh, mixers rather than audio interface. Now this is one interface uh, which uh, has only one mic output, but yes, you can put in two instrument output. It is in a way, this is the, if you the only person who's talking, this is I believe more than enough. Now this is the uh, mixer that I initially bought. This was my first mixer. Though it is priced 10,184 as of now, I purchased it during uh, the sale of, uh, there was a three day sale that was going on and I got it at much lower rate. So if you look in or you can look at renewed ones also. They are also of very good quality. So this was the mixer that I was using but I did change it and there is a reason that I changed it. The mixer that I am using as of now is this mixer, the Mackie Pro FX uh, V3 version 3. The reason why I switched over to this is that I used to do certain blogs, I used to do certain podcasts and uh, I didn't have much time to spend on those. So this uh, mixer, it has uh, a, a, an effects also. Uh, and because of this effects, I need not do or go into doing much of the editing once my, I, I just say the things that I need to say. So post production time is much less uh, with regard to this. And not only that, I have the option of four mic outputs and I also have the option of, uh, of, uh, of the instrument output. So those are few things uh, which I liked about this and I upgraded uh, to this particular uh, version of it. As far as mic is concerned, this is the mic that I have been using. This costs only 1099. Uh, well, uh, if you have money, I would always recommend you uh, to go for uh, Rode is one of the best that you can have. Uh, you have Behringer. This is the OSL mic. Uh, you might not even have heard about <laughs> this company, right? Many of my friends did not hear about it, but this is doing fine. This is doing good. Uh, it's been there with me for the last one and a half, two years. Uh, no issues uh, till now. Now. So uh, it depends upon you. It depends upon you which one you need to take. Now the reason, the reason why I just showed you all these things is that most of you might have thought that I had put in a lot of money. Yes, I did put in a little bit of amount on the mixer and the mic because that was a necessity for me. But apart from that, all those out there, if you shell out about 1500, right, about 1500, uh, if you are not so keen on enhancing the uh, audio, with 1500, you can do what I am doing right now. So that I believe is indeed a motivation for you to shell out a little so that we can do things in a professional way. Stay tuned as I come up next as to how we need to install OBS and what all plugins are needed along with OBS so that we can integrate it with Zoom. So stay tuned, subscribe my channel. If you like the content, do press the like button. Try to share it as much as possible to all those whom you think would benefit from it. Teachers, preachers, students, all those whom you think will be benefited from it. Thank you very much. Till we meet again, God bless you.